Hi guys and welcome to my lingerie haul. I put to you on Twitter if you guys wanted to see this. I was actually surprised. I think it was like 90% of people wanted to see a haul so I hope I hope you guys enjoy this. So if you aren't keen on seeing a lingerie haul, the title does give it away, then please click away. I'm not going to be showing any of the items on. I have them in front of me to show you but I'll include model pictures of them on just because it would be kind of weird to see me in some of these things. I just don't think that's quite appropriate. So if you want to see some inspiration of possible lingerie choices for yourself or for a possible loved one, then please keep watching. First items are Calvin Klein. I really love this set. This is from Urban Outfitters and it's in their kind of sparkle foil finish. I do find also it does fit slightly tighter than the usual cotton ones. This is still cotton, but I guess the kind of foil coating on top might make it slightly smaller. For this I got size medium and this fits well. With size small it just didn't give me enough coverage and I didn't really feel that comfortable in it. This has a matching bottoms as well. I also thought I'd show you the dark pair. The other top sorry was £30 but the bottoms for that set are 18 and then the black one is also £30 and the bottoms for this £20 and I just went for the briefs they also have a thong version and the more um like boy brief boxer versions there's not masses of support like it does kind of like hold you but I wouldn't go running in it kind of thing I find them really comfortable to sleep in especially next pieces I got are from ASOS the Jezebel barely there this is 20 pounds I really like the kind of cage barely there but covering up the bits that you need to the sizing of this is really good they have it in a 30 back which for some people I've known they've said they found it quite hard to find that kind of size so this I thought was really really pretty I just like the hint of lace and the kind of strappy detailing I also got the matching bottoms which were £10 these are Brazilian style briefs I just find briefs just comfier I love the front it is so much easier to see on a model how it kind of sits and then with the back is sheer and there was the lace at the front I just really like this kind of style at the front kind of sexy but it's not like too much if that makes sense I think it looks really nice on the model I got another pair of Brazilian bottoms again these were £10 uh, it's like the cutouts at the top and lace front with lining to it and the back is just lace they are really nice fit they aren't too kind of skimpy but they're not too granny style if that makes sense the next bra this is the asos premium alexa lace harness this one was 22 pounds the first one i actually received came faulty and this part here was ripped but i just returned it that was completely fine i noticed you can't exchange for the same size you can only exchange for a different size or different color so i just returned and then purchased again and i thought the lace was just really nice i like that it's very feminine but it's not too kind of crazy cage style it's a lot more feminine and delicate than the previous one this one I feel kind of fits better than the last one. Gold detailing hardware. The next item is the Selena Satin Strappy Body. This was £28. I think they had this perhaps in navy as well. It is satin and it has lace trim at the bottom and then these kind of bits go along your thighs and at the back it has this kind of lattice detailing and the bra does up at the back. It was quite kind of like a squeeze-ish to get on past the hips but then it was slightly loose but not too loose but not as fitted as I would want around the waist so buying kind of bodies in this way is hard but I guess in a way it's easier to buy it by the bra size so you know it will fit on the bust rather than in clothing size but it just kind of makes it awkward I guess if the material was stretchier then it would be better for different sizes different kind of proportions than this you may struggle with. The next bra I don't actually have on me, I couldn't find it, but it was, I'll insert a picture like I am for the rest anyway. It's the Nova bra by Blue Bella and this one is so beautiful. When I first saw this I just fell in love with it, so it is kind of a hard one to show. It doesn't look like much of a bra and obviously it's not going to be like massively supportive because there's not really much fabric to it. It covers up where it's needed. They also do have it in red, but I personally 
prefer the black. <laughs> Moving on to some Anne Summers pieces. It's long line, it's lace, and here's a mixture of a nude netting material and it fits really lovely and the back I liked because it was a kind of cage style to it. Mesh at the front mixed with lace and then the back is just a mesh and they're very pretty. It's just a nice blush nude and very very classy. Moving on to more and Summer's stuff. The next is the Louise Holter bra. This is £26. They also have another one which looks basically the same and it has a different name. This I love but it comes in sizes small, medium to large. This is a small and it does not cover up enough of what I need. This would probably fit more of an A, B. But this is so, so nice. I think it looks kind of a lot more expensive than it is. I think it looks a lot kind of similar to the For Love and Lemons style. It has a nude mesh at the front, a cut out detail down the middle, little bow at the bottom, unwired for support and lace kind of bits to cover up where it should cover up. The neck undoes with just a simple hook and loop and it's gold on the hook and the adjustable straps and the back is another hook as well and the bands does adjust which is good. I got the briefs with it as well, these were £14. I do think Anne Summer's stuff is very reasonably priced and it has come a long way, like when you think of Anne Summers before you often think of it being, no offence to them, but quite kind of tacky but a lot of the stuff now is really classy and I do think it looks a lot more expensive and whenever I featured stuff people are surprised that it is Anne Summers. So the matching briefs have, they are black with satin and lace and also some mesh nude detailing. The back is black lace and it's mesh and like a little lace panel there which are really pretty. Aira bra, <laughs> probably just butchered that. This is £14 and this is a lace bando style bra. Obviously there's not really much support to this and then up the middle and ties around the neck is this piece of lace which is very very pretty and this sizing for this is small, medium to large. Another and Summers item which I don't actually have to hand is the Alexia body. This I featured in an Instagram picture together. Again, I think it looks a lot more expensive, very for love and lemons, and that one was £35. I keep mentioning for love and lemons, and I went and I purchased from ASOS a for love and lemons halter bra, which is actually now in the sale. And it is now £69.50, reduced from £116. And I have tried this in just small and small, and I just don't think it fits me properly. I do really love this. Like, it'd be really cool to wear to a festival, but I'd wear like nipple covers or like something underneath and like a jacket on top but it has that really cool like kind of Coachella vibes, it sounds so cliche but it's so pretty and I just found the sizing though really hard so it's best that if you had a kind of stockist knee you should be able to try it on so for instance in Norwich, Proudlock and Harry they stock it in their store so if you could try stuff on that would be so much better to do because this stuff is really expensive and you know paying for postage or wherever you get it from it can be a lot but it has this nice like contrasting so darker down the middle and then it's a nude mesh with the applique over where you need it but again I just didn't feel it properly sat where I needed it and the band is nice and thick and the straps adjust and they cross over. From Wheat I have a bra, I couldn't actually find this one on the website but there were similar ones on ASOS which are £19 reduced from £33. The material of this I can't even explain, like this is so soft. This is just a soft triangle bra, no underwiring, actually really good support, it does fit really nicely. This one they do in sizes 32A to 36. 6C. I did see in other bras they do also stock um, 32Bs to 38DD or even a 32B some go up to an E. So Wheat do really good sizing. I do really like their swimwear as well. I love that they do, even for swimwear, they cater to a bigger size and they also do the option of no wiring if you don't want it. They have wiring, they have push-up air padded they do have a 
a wide range and the underwear is really really pretty as well and I really like this hot pink and I like the cute little bows that they do that makes them very recognisable. I thought would also feature a bra that is not necessarily sexy but kind of practical. I got this from Marks and Spencers. I needed a bra that had detachable straps. So this is good because I wanted one that had the support so it has underwiring, it doesn't have padding, it has a nice thick band with three hooks and it's just simple. I wanted it to be smooth so you don't really notice it under clothes. It is slightly lacy but you don't necessarily really notice it and I just needed one that if I didn't want to wear the straps I did have the support and I thought I would just share this with you because we all need a strapless bra and sometimes it's hard to find a good one but I was actually really impressed with the Marks and Spencers bras. I can't remember exactly how much this is want to say maybe around £18 possibly for this bra. And now for the next three brands. These are ones that are handmade. So the first one's actually a local brand. They are handmade in Norwich where I am from and this is by ELB Handmade. She also has a Depop and she also has a website. This set, so for both the bra and the pants, this was £20 and for this I just told her my size and she handmade it to fit to me. So this obviously isn't going to have loads of support but it's just really comfy. I love the look of it, I just love the contrast between the grey marl and the white, it's a nice thick band. This one I just slip on, it doesn't have a um, hook and it didn't have adjustable straps but I didn't actually need to adjust this at all. This also came with matching bottoms. Again I just told her my size and she made them for me. These look huge but they are high waisted. I just like that kind of look to them. I just love the contrast between the mesh and again the grey mile and the white and these are super comfy. <laughs> The next brand I wanted to feature is Clementina. I've worn this stuff actually on Instagram and I couldn't find these pieces, the exact pieces, on her website but I saw for the bra a similar version to this although the one on her website does have a lace around so it probably would be more than if you didn't get the lace but this one, or the similar one with the lace is £32 and again not loads of support but it does look really pretty just a simple jersey material. I really like the cage detailing of this and the straps adjust and for doing this up it's just a hook like so. I can't do it. For the matching set again I went for some high-waisted briefs. These are just again black jersey and then this goes round your waist and it okay so you cross over at the front like so so then it crosses like that and then this bit sits around and to make it easier this does undo so this is the hook kind of thing I mean that the bra had hopefully that made sense and the last brand is Oh So Lovely Intimates a lot of you probably have seen this brand they are quite big on Instagram they do very similar stuff for, for Love and Lemons but for less so if you couldn't afford that and you don't mind going for kind of imitation although some of her new collections are a lot more I guess of her own style and less like for Love and Lemons but it is worth checking out in case you see anything you like so this is the Gracie set and the bra is £41 and the briefs are £32. I'm confused by myself right now. So these are good but for these the sizing is small, was it extra small, small, medium to large. So extra small is a 30 to 32 band A to B cup. A small is a 32 to 34 band B to C cup. A medium is a 32 to 34 band D cup. Also, it does fit a 32 double D to 34 C. A large is a 34 to 35 band D to double D cup. So if you are a small band but a larger cup size, then this can be slightly a struggle. That is the only thing, but they are really, really beautiful. But I guess you could get in contact with her and perhaps discuss your sizing and maybe she can make it to fit you better. It's actually kind of difficult to put on, like the first time I put it on I did kind of do it wrong and I was a little bit stuck. So yeah, take some practice. And then the bottoms, the front is lace and the back is a mesh material and this band goes around the waist. These are pretty but sometimes they get quite tight and they just kind of make you 
what's the word? So imagine like a sausage <laughs> and then you've put like tight round it and you kind of not so flattering on your body if that makes sense. <laughs> So those were the recent lingerie items, let me know what your favourites, let me know if you've discovered any brands and also please let me know if you know any brands that you think I will love because I can't stop looking at lingerie. I also have a lingerie Pinterest board which I have discovered so many amazing, amazing brands, some I just probably can't afford and others like I haven't even checked their prices I'm too afraid to look at them but please share I just think there's so many beautiful brands I've had so much feedback from you guys when I've done my blog post about lingerie and in general whenever I show stuff on snapchat or Instagram lots of you have said that you were really keen to see this haul because you like the kind of stuff that I show but I would love to find out more I guess slightly unusual for YouTube but I think we're all adults here and it's fine and if you don't want to see it then you wouldn't still be watching to hear but I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you guys soon hi guys and welcome to my January favorites the first thing are actually two nail varnishes because I couldn't choose one so the first one I'll show you because I am actually wearing it 